What is up? Justin with Santa Fe here and today I want to talk a few quick tips and tricks on how you can prepare your Santa Fe dehumidifier as we roll into the winter season. As we all know, dehumidification in the winter months uh, isn't really necessary unless you've got some sort of moisture load that requires you to keep having a dehumidifier up and running, but usually conditions are cooler, they're drier, and as a result we don't need to run our dehumidifier. So to prep it as we get into the winter season, there's a few things that you want to do. The first thing you want to do is just make sure that the inside of the dehumidifier is nice and dry. So no mold, no bacteria can build up in there. We don't get any algae buildup because that can happen from time to time. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn the fan on. There's a fan switch on your dehumidifier. We're going to turn that fan switch on and we're going to run that fan for about two hours or so. So once that fan's been running for two hours, any residual moisture that's inside that system will be dried up and you'll be in good shape. The next thing we want to do is just make sure that uh, that drain hose is nice and clean. So what I usually do is recommend that people put a little bit of bleach water in there, a little vinegar, um, you know, some sort of uh, cleaner, Lysol will clean that hose out and that will prevent algae buildup in the hose, which can happen from time to time. Uh, so what I usually tell people is you can keep the hose attached right here and take the opposite end of the hose and just pour uh, a little bit of water in there rinse it back and forth, lift the hose up. It's okay if a little bit gets back in the machine. You know, if this is something you want to do before you run the fan just to make sure it's all cleared out, that's totally fine, you can do that. So that'll help uh, prevent bacteria and algae from building up in that hose. Uh, the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and change the filter uh, on the system and get it ready for next season. So uh, I've got the Santa Fe Compact 70 here. It has two filters. It has uh, just a pre-filter on it that uh, usually you don't need to change out, uh, but maybe every three to four years, whenever it breaks down, in the meantime, you can vacuum it off. The main filter, the one inch filter that sits behind here is a nine by 11 by one inch filter. This is a MERV 13 filter. Uh, you wanna replace that out typically every three to six months. Otherwise, usually every dehumidification season, uh, you wanna get it ready for the next year. So you go ahead and pull that out, throw it away. It's a throwaway filter, put a new one in there, pop your pre-filter back on, and then you're good to go. That way next season uh, you have everything set and ready to go uh, so you can just fire it up and get it going. The last thing you want to do uh, is just go ahead and unplug the dehumidifier. Since there's no need or use for it to, to run, again if there's no moisture load, uh, you can just go ahead and unplug the dehumidifier or turn the dial all the way counterclockwise to the off or more humid position. Uh, last thing, if you have a condensate pump, uh, similar uh, to that drain hose and clearing it out, there's a couple of holes in the condensate pump. Uh, what you can do is just pour a little bit of diluted bleach water in there or vinegar, uh, again, any sort of Lysol cleaner, uh, fill it up. There's a reservoir on the pump. Pour that water in there, fill it up until it pumps out, uh, and then that one pump will clear out everything inside the system as well as kind of keep that drain hose clear as well. So that's it uh, as far as preparing your dehumidifier uh, as you go into the winter season. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks from Santa Fe and Ultra Air by Santa Fe. As always, uh, we appreciate the support in the business and go out and make a great day. Take care.